This is a short tutorial on how to assign random materials to a number of 3D objects. I have used this technique to assign random colors to the sprinkles on top of the donut in my other tutorial. To get started, first you are going to have to download a script. I have included a link to it in the description. The script is called Random Select. It is completely free and very easy to use. Click on the attachment to download it. Then, switch to 3ds Max. In 3ds Max, I have this example scene, where there are more than 200 balls or spheres, and I want to randomly assign different colors to them. In the Material Editor, I have already created 10 different materials that will be assigned to a group of randomly selected spheres. First, open the folder where you have downloaded the Random Select script. Simply drag the script from the folder to the 3ds Max viewport to run it. As you can see, with two options, it is an extremely simple tool. To use it, first, select all the objects that you want to assign materials to. In my case, it is all these spheres. In the script, if you select the first option, it will randomly select a percentage of the objects selected originally. For example, I have 224 objects selected at the moment. If I choose the first option, with a percentage of 50%, it will randomly select half of the objects out of 224, and it will deselect the other half. Similarly, the second option will randomly select the number of objects that will be provided here. With a bit of explanation done, let's assign the materials now. Open the material editor and assign the first material to all of the objects. As you can see at the moment, all of the objects have only one material. Now, instead of all of them, I only want to have 20% of the objects selected. So I will write 20 here. And then click Select. And sure enough, it has randomly selected 20% of the objects, which works out to be 44 spheres out of 224. Now we can assign the second material to them. After assigning the material, make sure to reselect all of the objects again. Then again with the help of the script, select a percentage of them and assign the third material. Repeat this process of selecting all the objects, then selecting a percentage of them and assigning the materials for all 10 materials. Once you are done, all of the objects will have random materials to them. It did a pretty good job here, but sometimes a single material may be more predominant than others. A simple fix to this problem is to repeat the process again for other materials. Maybe even change the percentage amount until you get the results that you want. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more straightforward tutorials like these. Thank you for watching.